Hello guys, it's Carbon Rhino and welcome to One More Rhino Says Yes. Today's game is one of the best war games out there. It's a great strategic puzzle. It feels fresh and streamlined. It's 878 Vikings Invasions of England. The game takes place in the year 878 and players control the invading Vikings, the Norsemen and the fearless berserkers or the English nobles who are trying to withstand the invasion, namely the House Carl and the Thanes. Each player chooses a faction and takes the corresponding units and the battle dice and faction cards that are unique for each faction. The game is played for up to seven rounds. During each round, all four factions will take a turn in random order determined by the color of the cube drawn for the turn. If the active player is the first Viking faction to take its turn in a round, they bring a Viking leader which comes with an army and they are ready to invade the coast. If the active player is from the English side, the reinforcements come according to the units pictured in certain shires as long as they are not occupied by Vikings. Then the active player plays a movement card which determines the maximum number of armies they can move and the maximum number of shires each army may move. An army must stop if it enters a shire occupied by enemy units as it is battle time. In the battle, the defending factions have the initiative and simultaneously roll their battle dice according to the amount of units present, applying the results. If the English players are the defenders, they will also be able to call up the peasant levies called the feared to defend their cities and they add their dice to the battle. Then the attacking factions simultaneously roll their battle dice and the back and forth continues until there is only one side remaining. The results can be hit, command, which allows that faction to move one of its units to an adjacent shire containing friendly units, and flee, in which case you place the unit here and it may re-enter the game during the reinforcement phase. Every time a Viking wins a battle in a city shire, they place a Viking control marker on it. The Vikings win if there are 14 or more Viking control markers on city shires at the end of any round, while the English side wins if at the end of any round there are none. Alternatively, the game can end with a treaty. Each faction has one treaty card that they may play as a movement card and then place face up here. After round 4, if one side has placed both their treaty cards, the game ends and the winner is determined by the amount of Viking control markers placed at that time. The game offers a wonderful asymmetry with a different experience when playing each of the different sides and a clever and straightforward card and die system. There is a strong element of luck, but in the long term, it's the player's tactics that will determine the outcome. There is lots of exciting strategic choices to make, like where to move, with which armies, when to play the treaty card, how to resolve the dice, and so on. It's a game with lots of tension, and as it's based on historical facts, it also really makes thematic sense, and you can actually learn from it about the events of the time. It's easy to grasp and teach, and at the same time, it's deep strategically, so Rhino says a big yes.